what's an ultra book? And we say, we are going to tell you what's ultra book, but first I want to tell you what's the revolution. And if I'm taking five years old computer, which is a nice one, I believe the revolution can be summarized in two words. This is the revolution. That's an ultrabook. <laughs> the ultrabook is the new devices, the device that you hold in your hand, the device that you like to show, the device that you put so much effort in order to deliver of what David was speaking about. But let me show you in a second what we are trying to deliver in this category. So first of all, it was very simple. They told us what we need to do, and the guys say, guys, you need to, to make sure that we can create to express ourselves. We don't want to wait for the computer. We want the computer to wait for us. We want peace of mind. They don't even know to say the word security. We want the reflection of me, always available, at the price that's available. And I say, well, how do you want us to do it? You say, that's your problem. You're an engineer. I finished my job. He just left the stage. So the big challenge for us is how do we take this word, these usages, and translate it into engineering, because at the end of the day, we need to design it. And I believe the way that we design it is the following, guys. In order to deliver this creativity and responsiveness of everything, we need to deliver, to design the system in such a way. In order to do the protection, we need to do the security embedded into our solution, I'll touch on it. We need to speak about form factor, it's not about style, we need to create this style. Very thin system, you'll see the challenge. We need to have power and reduce the power constantly in order to be able to deliver low battery life. And on top of all of this, when you do it, you need to do it at a very affordable price so that many consumers will be able to do it. So let's start first thing first. Let's look at the, at the performance. It's true that the performance is very important for our creation. People do not recognize it sometimes, but you need the performance the same way that in the car, you need a great engine in order to have a great driving experience. People speak about the driving experience, they do not know what's exactly under the hood. Same thing when you want to do the creation, when you want to be real time, when you want to be next to your computer, it's important when you have what you have under the hood, especially when you want to create. And I started my presentation when there was the video and say yes, People speak about creation, and I'm not again, people speak about consumption, and I'm not again consumption, I like the consumption devices, they're beautiful. But we are not only consumption animal. Somebody write, we read, somebody take a picture, we watch the movie, somebody's doing it. We would like also to create ourselves. It starts at a very young age, and I believe that eventually if you want to fulfill the left brain and the right brain, and you don't want to be left with no brain, definitely we need to be able to do some creation as well. One of the things that we heard when we delivered the CULV into the market, people claim that there's still not enough performance to fulfill what they, are, what they want. We redesigned the CPU in such a way that even in a very small form factor at the low voltage, we'll be able to deliver this great performance. And if you look at the ultra, Ultrabook that we are delivering today, its performance is better than the two, three years system, standard voltage that exists over there in the market. But the biggest challenge was, how do we make sure that the responsiveness, the speed, is going to be so fast that when you are interacting with the device, you'll get the right performance. And for that, we extended the turbo. And let me go a little bit into technical detail, not too much to share with you. What we see on the right-hand side is a standard voltage 30 watt microprocessor dual core. On the left-hand side, we see a ULV 17 watt solution. You can see that the frequency is slightly lower. But when we hit the carriage return, when we want to see an application, we need the performance on demand, both of them will turbo. And as you can see, on the right-hand side, it will turbo several beams. On the left-hand side, the turbo will be much higher. So rather than looking at the screen, please look at me if I can get the IMAG. If this is the frequency of the standard voltage, if this is the frequency of the UOP, once we turbo them, both of them will turbo almost to the same frequency. So when you look at the responsiveness, the responsiveness for the same system is going to be pretty much identical. And indeed, we get great feedback from our customer when they start playing with the Ultrabook say, wow, it's amazing the responsiveness that we get. But it's not only about that. We added additional solutions, additional technology to fulfill what people want. So, 
Hello, Molly. How are you doing? Good. So I have to.